Okay, so as we have seen in the previous run that we have extracted data uh, and compared it into an Excel, the final outputs are visible, the operations of Excel were done by RPA. Now we want RPA to read data in column E, let's say, we have to simplify, we'll just read data in one column and count the number of yeses that are present in this column E. So first we will be reading all of the data in column E that's present and then loop through each one of these cells one by one and count the number of yeses and store the count in a variable. So let's see how do we do that. So first we will find the first free row again because the data could have changed. So get first free row. And uh, on column five, actually on column one. Let's keep it at column one to make it simple. And the variable in which we'll be storing the first free row because we already stored one, so it makes us as two. We keep it as new to to make it simple to understand. So we have first free row on column new. Once we have the uh, first free row, now we want to read the data from Excel. So from a range of cells. And we'll start on column five. We'll start on row one. We'll end on column five only because that's what we want to read. And we will use up till the first free row on column new. And here we go. So this data would be what we read will now be stored into a variable called Excel data. So this is a new variable that's created that will host or store all of the data. Now, uh, once we have data in that variable, we want to loop through it one by one. So we'll start with uh, creating a variable called row index first. So we'll set a variable, call it row index. And we'll keep it as zero for now to begin with. And we'll also create another variable called output variable. Why I'm doing it as output, I'll explain in the next video, but both the variables are same. This, this is just another variable. And we will just keep it as output variable and save it. This output variable is where we will be counting the number of yeses. So uh, to make it simple, let's begin now with a loop because we want to loop through it. So here we go. We will put a loop condition first. And in the loop condition, we will be using the row index and when it's less than or equal to the first free row that we have identified on new column minus one because that's where we want to loop it to uh, once we have done that we will put up an if condition since we want to find the number of yeses if the excel data that we are reading in that particular row is equal to yes if it's yes what do we do but for that particular row index of course otherwise we would have given a static number but since the row index is what we will be looping in so excel data in row one two three four it will keep looping whenever it finds a yes it should increase the variable count of the new output variable by one so once that is done, uh, this is the first loop. I want the row index to go one by one, keep on increasing itself up till it finds the first free row on column new. Uh, so we also need to increment the variable outside this if condition, uh, which is our row index. Here we go. And we keep on incrementing it by one. So here's the condition. We will quickly save it now. So once it's saved, I will close the Excel, assuming that there are going to be two price drops, but we'll see how many price drops do we find in this new run. And we will expect the new output variable to give us that count. So once I've closed this, I will run it. So it goes to the website, scrapes all the data as usual. brings it into an Excel. The Excel file is now open at the bottom. I will expand it and then we see yeah, there has been a price drop for two products. So uh, I'll go back to my flow. 
and what I see here, the new output variable is two. So there are two yeses that it found, and that's how you actually get to read data from Excel. Now I could have also used the, this data for any other purposes, but yeah, for now we just wanted to keep it simple, just wanted to find the count of number of yeses. That's how you can do it.